Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my channel. My name is Jonathan and if you're new to this channel and you're looking to get a deeper understanding of the whole spiritual awakening process, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified. And to my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can protect yourself as an empath during this outbreak. Let's get started. This past week, I was at the grocery store and it became more and more evident that it was time really to protect my energy, to protect my light, to continue to let my light shine, okay? I was at the grocery store and I'd seen it on the news as far as everything they implemented, okay, with the grocery store. But when I walked in, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't, I wasn't emotionally or mentally prepared for what was going to happen. The energy was very dark. I'll be honest with you. I could feel a lot of people were feel, losing their hope. They were becoming hopeless. I could sense a lot of people were purchasing out of fear of lack. They were emptying out the shelves and it really hit me. And I'll be honest with you, that day I ended up doing three meditations and going out into nature in order to re-raise up my vibrations. And it made it clear to me that I had to make a video for all of you empaths out there, all of you earth angels out there, because now is not the time to let your light dim. Now is not the time to give out your energy to absolutely everyone. Now is really the time to protect that energy and do whatever you can in order to continue to help others heal, continue to help raise the vibrations on earth, but also maintain that light. Don't allow your light to dim. And that's why I wanted to make this video and just bring up a couple of different points, a couple of different things that you can do in order to really thrive during this stage. Because this stage is not a stage where you should be dipping into any type of fear-based reality. Those of you who've known for a while that have been an empath, you know this, that as soon as you dip into any type of fear, this really hinders okay, the services that you're able to do for others. This really hinders how much your light is able to shine. And I'm going to go over several different things that you can do in this video, which is going to allow you to maintain that light as bright as possible. What's really important during this transitional phase that we're in is really begin to put yourself first in each and every single situation. If you have to put up boundaries, put up walls. Okay, you're not here to help absolutely everyone. You're not here to give out your energy to absolutely everyone, because I'm telling you this, you're going to become emotionally and physically drained. And you empaths, you know what I'm talking about. One of the first times you actually figured out that you were an empath, you're going out into a big major public place and then you come home and you just feel completely wiped out. You end up having to go to bed early and you end up having to sleep for like 12 hours. So that's what I'm talking about is protecting your energy. Okay, you absolutely need alone time each and every single day. The general rule is the 10% rule as far as empaths. 10% of your day should be spent alone, just on yourself. And it doesn't matter what you want to do. You want to read a book, read a book. You want to meditate, meditate. Soon we're going to be able to start gardening. You want to garden and you want to play with earth, go for it. Go for a walk out in nature. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You want to just sit there in your own thoughts and go over what you've been going through the past week or so. It doesn't matter, but this alone time is extremely important to help you maintain that high vibration. Because I can tell you this, that I am at my most powerful levels when I feel the absolute best about myself. I'm at the most powerful levels when I'm feeling that love, joy, and happiness, you see? And that's why I don't give my energies out to everyone. That's why I'm very selective as far as who I'm able to help. And you should, go, you should see things in that exact way is don't give out your energies to absolutely everyone. Really become more and more selective. Because trust me, right now there is a mass awakening going on. So you're not the only light worker here. Okay, we're all stepping up to the plate and we're all beginning to do our own part. And sometimes that part could just simply be doing a meditation and now giving out at blessings to family members or giving out blessings to family and friends you know what i mean it could be things of that nature it's not always it doesn't always have to be in being in contact with other individuals and during these difficult times really beginning to watch what you eat watch what you consume and especially notice how it makes you feel and if you have to get yourself a journal okay and seriously each time you eat something 
Write down in your journal an hour or two after you've consumed something. How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel re-energized or does it make you feel all groggy? You know what I mean? Is, is, is it causing any type of physical pains? And you might want to start limiting certain foods. There are certain foods I would love to eat every single day, but I know that it, they just bring my vibrations down. I just know that they don't make me feel good on the inside. Therefore, I've, I've limited, you know what I mean? You don't need to completely cut it out, but start limiting some of these things. And it's just like start consuming more and more water. You can go head more towards fruits and vegetables, you know? And even getting yourself out in nature, getting yourself grounded. There's just something magical about whenever you're able to get out in nature. I'm telling you this, whenever I'm feeling stressed, if I'm feeling any type of fear, anxiety, or anything like this even when i need to work through certain problems getting myself out in nature really grounds me it calms me it creates more and more inner peace and it really allows me to be able to work through whatever i'm working through and it allows me to really find the best resolution to find really the best solution as far as how i should move forward and when you're going out in public, you're able to envision this white light or this golden light around you that's going to shield you from other people's energies. With me personally, just like right there, I just went to the grocery store. And as I was driving to the grocery store, for me, I asked my angels to literally cover me, really surround me. Okay, and that's what I envision. I envision them protecting me. But you can also do use the light. You can use a white light or a yellow light. And what I suggest doing, if you've never done this, is start doing this during your meditations. Okay, start meditating, and then just simply envision this golden light that's all surrounding you. And I'm telling you this, it's going to really allow you to shield off a lot of these negative energies, and it's going to really help to maintain those high vibrations. And not only this, think about it. Okay, you are hypersensitive. This is a superpower. Therefore, you don't even need to be right beside someone. You can sense out energies in rooms. Therefore, whenever you have to go out in public and there's a lot of individuals, you can still guide your way through. You know what I mean? Avoid certain areas where you can sense that the energies are more dense, the energies are lower, lower vibrational energies. And really focus in on what you need to get done. Let's say you're the ghost or focus in on what you need to get done and get out. And if you have to, you can even do this. Just put on your earphones and put on some music. And if you do put on some music, make sure you use those two apps that I've mentioned before. The 528 hertz or the 432 hertz app. If you haven't seen that video, go see that video. I'm telling you this right now. It, it's literally going to allow you to listen to binaural beats at the same time that you're listening to music. And one practice that I do, which helps enormously. I do this about every two weeks is I do a self energy healing session. And this can be done very easily. I've already got it in my playlist, the meditation playlist and binaural beats, that 432 hertz angelic healing music. Okay, and all I want you to do is you just put on your headset where you barely hear this, okay? Lay your, lay, I would lay down on a bed or else you can sit down, but either way, put on this music and then ask your angels to do an energy healing session. I'm telling you this, this is going to help and you might become emotional and it's completely fine. Whichever emotion you feel, I want you to release it, okay? There is zero resistance and I'm telling you this, your angels and your guides are going to help you re-raise up your vibrations and it's the same thing with a, a chakra meditation, a chakra meditation that's going to align all of your chakras. One meditation I do do more often than others because I'm going to be real honest with you, I've put a lot of my focus since my awakening on my heart chakra. For me, that is my most prominent chakra. That's my most powerful chakra. That's what is really leading me. You know what I mean? That's exactly, that's the chakra I follow the most as far as my intuition, as far as which direction I should be taking. But I would do this also every couple of weeks or so. And you can even do this at nighttime. You can listen to a binaural beat, let's say an eight hour binaural beat, which is literally going to align all of your chakras. And trust me, it's going to make you feel a lot better. And also your meditation as often as you can. You know, if it starts to become more of a task than enjoyable, cut back on it. And then you might want to start taking walks out in nature a little bit more. But keep doing it if you're enjoying it. That's the thing with spirituality, okay? Follow your heart. Whatever you're passionate about, whichever direction your heart takes you, follow. 
and if something starts to become a task you know what it might just mean you might just need to slack off a little bit with that in order to find different new aspects as far as spirituality new directions you know you don't always have to just stick with meditation but i absolutely love it and continue envisioning okay this isn't the end of the world continue envisioning what it is that you want to bring forth continue to manifest and you're an empath. I'm telling you this right now. You're an empath. Therefore, your superpower also is being able to manifest from your heart space. You're able to get into such high emotional state of being that that's what's going to amplify your manifestation. So don't give up right now. Now's not the time to give up. Now's the time to amplify your manifestation techniques. Now's the time to continue to envision what it is that you want to bring forth because you know what? It's going to come forth a lot faster than you can imagine. You will have a miracle come forth. You will have an unexpected blessing come forth if you continue with your spiritual practices and you continue to amplify them. And one thing to remember is we are humans. Okay, you sometimes need to have rest days. You sometimes need to have days where you know what? You're not going to do absolutely anything. You're going to just sit there and you're going to read a book. You know what I mean? You're just going to sit there and go through your own thoughts. You need to rest. So really make sure that you get the proper amount of sleep. You get the six to eight hours. If you need 10 hours, make sure you get the sleep because it's the better you feel, the more you're going to be able to help out others. And trust me, the better you feel, the better it is for me and all the other light workers around in the world that are doing their part to help raise the vibrations. Because I'm telling you this, within a, several years, we're going to see a major change. Right now, there's a major change happening, but trust me, things are going to become a lot better. The way of living that we used to live is going to no longer exist, but now we're going to go into a new age. We're going to go into the new age of Aquarius, which is the age of knowing trust me things are going to get a lot better and what's really important is continue to use that intuition think about it. you're extra sensitive you're hyperly sensitive I can tell you this that my intuition is through the roof and continue to receive that guidance and act upon it don't don't sit there and just think about okay how should I act upon it just act upon it I'm telling you this your angels and your guides continue to connect with them continue to talk to them about everything that you're going through continue to telling them exactly how it is that you want to move forward what is it that you want to do and then ask for their guidance as far as what is the next step that I should be taking well, that's going to do it for the video. You guys have an amazing day. Protect your energy and continue to let your light shine for all the right reasons, my earth angels. I love you guys. You guys have an amazing day. Namaste.